Okay, so here we are, um, a video from both of us today, joint one, obviously not together, but we're both in the video. Uh, and then what we're going to call it is our, our COVID coping strategy. So it's low, lockdown coping strategies, basically. Now you might think, well, you're a bit late with that, we're nearly done. But I think a lot of these things, Phil and I have sort of learned from the process of going through it, something we've never been through before. Um, so we've got sort of four, we, we had a chat and we, we came up with four main points. So we're going to do two each, which you're going to see. Um, now from watching it, you might almost feel like, well, you sort of contradicted what the other one said in that. But I think by watching it, you'll sort of realise that we're all completely different in the way we deal with things. Completely different. There isn't one rule that fits all of us. We all cope with things in different ways. But really with this video, we're hoping just to give you some suggestions of ways, if you are struggling, that you might cope better with it just by getting some sort of organisation into your life in some ways so yeah there's some things that phil might say you think well that's different to what mel said but you know that i do things completely differently to phil so that's just how it goes anyway i'll stop robbing on and let you get into the actual thing of seeing how we how we've um, dealt with lockdown and what ways we've put together to make life a little bit easier for us um and to get through it in a positive way some positive things are coming out of it and i think a lot of people are seeing that they're finding a lot of things we're doing differently are actually better than they were before which is great so yeah let's get into point one which is fills um and uh, let us know what you think okay let's get into it right uh so as mel mentioned this video is all about coping with lockdown okay lockdown brings on a lot of stress for people anxiety apprehension you know just you don't, you don't feel yourself because it's not a situation that we've experienced before. Um, one of my favourite coping strategies that I've uh, come across so far is basically keeping myself busy, uh, distracting myself as much as possible. Um, I've taken up cooking. That's why I'm at the uh, local Lidl, uh, just done a bit of shopping. Um, so cooking is one for me. It takes up, depending upon what you cook, quite a big chunk of your time. But it could be anything, anything that you find distracts you. It could be listening to music, it could be watching a couple of films. You know, it's all right to, you know, embrace this slower pace of life and do things that you wouldn't normally do, all right? Watching films, listening to music, um... Like, getting all the stuff done at home that you've, like, been putting off. Uh, what else is there? Um, if you've got a family playing with the kids, okay, if you've got any any pets, any, any, any like, a dog, for example, take it out for a longer walk, all right? Don't just take it out for, like, an half hour like you normally would do when you're at work. Take your dog out for an hour, a couple of hours. Um, just keep yourself busy as much as anything. Um, just to try not to just sit there because if you just sit there, that's time with your with your own thoughts, and that's when you can start thinking more about all the stresses, all the anxieties, all the uncertainties. Um, get decorating, get gardening, all all sorts, all sorts you can do. Okay, uh, just distract yourself by keeping yourself busy whatever whatever hobbies pastimes whatever things you enjoy my dad's been chipping in garden for every day for like the last two last five weeks uh unfortunately i don't think his chipping's getting much better so he should probably knock it on the head uh but like my mum my mum's been gardening she's been a lot doing a lot of knitting which unfortunately means we're all armed with these stupid masks that you're seeing people wearing. But, you know, it, it keeps her busy at the end of the day. It keeps her, like, ticking over. Uh, but that's what you just need to do. You just need to distract yourselves with things that you enjoy or things that you need doing or just whatever activities you normally do, just extend them a little bit. Distract yourself. Okay, so out for a walk. Obviously, I want to talk about our main points to get through lockdown i mean we're well into it now and hopefully we're on the end of the worst of it i hope so but phil obviously we put our points together and for me the number one and the biggest point has to be routine 
that's the thing I think that has got me through well say through we're nearly through uh, the whole thing is having a routine and after having talked to a lot of people I've noticed that for some people they've allowed themselves to get out of a routine in terms of staying up late getting up late not doing the things they'd normally do and you can get into sort of bad habits with that so for me I'm going to split the routine thing into five things number one number one is basically getting ready so getting ready getting yourself ready on the morning getting dressed getting your hair done getting your makeup on if that's something you would normally do i know a lot of people have used it as a reason to maybe not do things like that to maybe just relax a bit which is fine but for me in terms of getting myself up getting dressed getting my gym kit on even though i'm not going to the gym and <coughs> excuse me getting ready has just been really really useful to me in terms of keeping my routine that's been the one big thing that I've kept going every day. Okay, I've sat down on the bench now because I'm getting a bit out of breath for just walking around talking. I don't want to forget anything I've got to say. So on the routine, number one, getting ready. Number two, really important, is getting your sleep pattern dead on. Now, again, I know that came into point one as well, but the sleep pattern in terms of living with your circadian rhythm in your normal routine is something that's been key for me. Getting to bed at a normal time, so normally I'm trying to be in bed for 11, and generally getting up at the same time every day, having that routine that goes uh, with your normal daily sleep pattern can really help. So I generally now wake up at 7 a.m. without an alarm just because I'm into that routine. So try and keep that and it give you some level of sanity to get a decent night's sleep. Um, okay, my point three is, is about, it comes under routine in some way. It's about where you are getting your news from. Um, and I would get into a routine, if I was you, of, of choosing some news outlet that you trust and maybe finding out from that one place every day. Because you can spend your life on Facebook listening to crap news, filling yourself with depression because it's all rubbish. Uh, so avoid that. Let's find some somebody, politician, whatever, news channel, somewhere online where you trust the news that they're telling you and you trust that it's going to be right as close as possible and just stick with it. Get that into your routine that that's where you are going to get keep up to date with the current affairs and what's going on. Because you can spend all day finding bits from here and bits from there and then finding out it doesn't all match up and it, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. So that's my number point three of routine. Find somewhere that you trust the news, stick to it and don't vary it. Okay. Number four is me time. So if you're living and working from home with a partner or, or you've got kids at home all day, you're doing homeschooling or whatever, but you're not alone all day. You need to take some time out for yourself. Even, I know it's hard when you've got kids around, but you need to maybe just take 10 minutes, half an hour just for you. Uh, go out for a walk, sit on your own, read a book, just get a little bit of peace and quiet. You, you need that to keep your, your head straight. Um, even if it's just getting someone else to watch the kids or if you're putting them to watch something on telly or, or whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do just to get that time, that time on your own. So that's number four. The last one is to do with working from home as well. So a lot of you guys, if you're working from home, will be very tempted to keep working literally late into the night. So one little tip I would say to you, try and set yourself a time to down tools as it were, because you can easily get into a habit of thinking, oh, 8 p.m., I'll just check my emails, because if I do that email tonight, it'll make tomorrow easier for me and then you can look at that one email it turns into two turns into three and suddenly it's 10 p.m and you've been sat on your work computer all night so set yourself be disciplined in terms of setting yourself a time to down tools and stick to it so that your work-life balance stays in some sort of balance because usually if you were going to work on a morning and coming home at say six o'clock you wouldn't have this opportunity to work all night so don't let it creep in so there you go. In terms of routine, they, they're my five tips. So getting up, getting ready as normal, if you want to. I mean, yeah, if you want to relax it a bit and, and not maybe put the full face on do, but try and keep some sort of routine of getting up, sleeping at a good time, getting up at a normal time, having that me time, that time to yourself, choosing a place where you're going to get your news and have a routine with that. So you're on top of the news, but it's not bogging you down. And the last thing was basically choose your work day and down tools when you said you were gonna and don't let it creep into the whole night. And that's my tips for you in terms of routine. Another tip from me 
to get through these challenging times is to be a little kinder to yourself. I feel we're all so critical, like, in day-to-day -day life, and we're applying that same sort of mindset to this situation, and it's just unfair, okay? It's okay to, you know, some days feel like you can't be bothered, all right? It's okay to feel lonely. It's okay to feel a bit apprehensive, a bit anxious, okay? It's, all, it's completely normal to feel stressed. Uh, these are all normal human emotions. You've never experienced anything like this lockdown situation before. And unfortunately, it's out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. So treat yourself with a little bit more kindness, a little bit more dignity, a little bit more pride. Stop beating yourself up over everything. Oh, I didn't work out today. So what? What difference does it make? In the grand scheme of things, it's one day. All right, oh, I didn't go for a walk or, you know, I've not seen my pal, I've not been in touch with this person. I've not been for a walk. Like, you've got bigger things to worry about right now. Um, be kind to yourself. Make, make time for yourself. Give yourself a bit of acknowledgement. You know, when you do exercise, when you do do something positive, embrace it, okay? Build yourself up. Don't break yourself down build up that confidence like you need to be able in times like this you need to be able to rely on yourself okay um, because the one person that you spend a hundred percent of your time with is you so be kind to yourself like i don't understand like all this this negativity of beating yourself up, it's, it's a slower pace of life at the minute. Embrace it as best you can. Make the most of it. Enjoy your time. If you don't get things done, so what? What's it matter? You don't exercise, so what? Doesn't matter. It's one day, it might be two days, it might be three days, there's still another four days in the week. Um, just know in your head that everyone behind the scenes is doing everything they possibly can to rectify this situation and move it forwards. Um, you just you just need to be you just need to be kinder to yourself. You just need to be nicer to you at the end of the day, rather than just con consistently putting yourself down. Be positive. Be positive about yourself. Be positive about the situation. Find the positives. Find the things to be optimistic about, and you'll feel a lot better. Like it's not all doom and gloom at the end of the day. It's not not all negative. Embrace the positives. You've got more time on your hands, okay? You, time to potentially catch up with people that you've not spoke to for for years or, well, maybe not years. Um, time to, you know, exercise, be a bit more active, you know, feel better about yourself, eat a little better, move a little more, sleep a little better. Um, just treat your body and your, your mind with the, the kindness that it deserves at the end of the day. Be kind, be optimistic. It's not all rubbish, it's not all crap. So my next little tip to talk to you about in terms of survival is training. Now, we could have basically put training under routine, um, but in terms of where Phil and I are coming from, training is such a huge part of what we're trying to bring to you that we wanted to have it as a separate point, really. So in terms of training, what I'd say to you is take advantage of the lovely weather and the fact that we're allowed to get out once a day for exercise and get out and get some fresh air. It make a huge difference to your mindset if you just get out and get some fresh air every day. Um, so if that's part of your training and your exercise, fair enough. But what I'd like to say, sort of say to you is plan. In terms of training plan, so a lot of people have asked me in this this time, can, is there any point in trying to progress in terms of our goals for our body composition? Is there any chance we can progress in this time when we haven't got gyms? Now, my answer would be to that. If you're a newbie to training and if you've never trained before, 
then potentially, yes, you can. You can make some gains and you can make some improvements because you're coming from a sort of um, a fresh start, as it were. If you've never trained before, yes, you can make some huge improvements just using bands and light weights and stuff at home and body weight training. For the rest of us that have been training for a long time, it might be a case of just saying, we're just gonna maintain what we've already we've already got in terms of strength and, and muscle gain anyway. If weight loss is the thing you're looking for, then perfect. You can adjust your diet and you can get out there and get some exercise and you can make some massive uh, impressions on that. So I'm out on my walk now. I just thought I'd have a sit down just to finish this, this part for you. So yeah, in terms of the rest of us who've got experience at the gym, it's a case of maybe just we're looking to maintain what we've already got. But what I would say to you is make a plan. In terms of if you're training a body part split or if you're looking to train certain parts of your body or if you're looking at maybe HIIT training or, or just weights in general, make a plan for the week ahead. So for me personally, I make a plan that I'm going to alternate upper body to lower body. So one day I'll do upper body, next day lower body. And then maybe in between that, I'll, I'll look to train maybe four to five times a week minimum. Some days it's been creeping up. And then on the in-between days, I might go out on my bike. So it's a case of planning. Make yourself a timetable of what you're going to do on what days and stick to it. Um, there's loads and loads of stuff out there on YouTube. In fact, we've put loads of stuff on YouTube. So if you're doing more of a body part split and you want to uh, train certain parts of your body, we've got videos up there for everything. So if you want to train glutes, there's a video up there for that. If you want to do shoulders, but make a plan. That's the most important thing and stick to it. Because as with any time, consistency is the key. That's what you want to stick to. So once you've made a plan, stick to it. Um, whether that includes just cardio or weight training, resistance training with bands and small weights, it doesn't matter, just make a plan and stick to it. Uh, and so that's it on training really. It's all about just planning and preparation as always and making yourself something that you can stick to and don't go too silly and then just stick to it. Okay, well that's, that's me on training. I'm just about to be approached by a little dog, so I was a little bit wary then. But no, he's got scared and run off. <laughs> right, okay, that's me on training, guys. But it's really important in terms, of, in terms of your state of mind and your mental health to get some training into your life, whether it just be a walk or some sort of resistance training. And as I say, look back on some of our videos and you'll find loads of stuff to inspire you. Right, better carry on my walk. Right, that's uh, another video in the books from myself and Mel. Um... Next time I, me, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a bit of a HIIT workout. Um, the weather's been absolutely lovely for the past few days. I'm going to take myself to the local park. I'm going to put myself through a bit of a high intensity body weight circuit. Uh, I'm going to give you a few different options within that, within those exercises in terms of like programming. So it might be some pyramids some ladders stuff for time to batter just so you've got a few ideas there to spruce up your training um plus i ain't done anything like that for a while i could do with i've had a few too many biscuits and beers unfortunately in this meantime so a bit of a conditioning workout high intensity workout is probably going to do me a world of good so that's what's coming from me next um as always like and subscribe, okay? Down there. Um, keep following us. We've got a Instagram Q&A coming up this Sunday. I cannot remember the time. I'm sure it's about 1pm. It's sometime on Sunday. We'll put it in the description. Um, get yourself tuned into that. Ask us plenty of questions from anything. It could be nutrition. It could be training. It could be mindset. Um, anything that's going to help you get through lockdown better or just anything about about something that you're struggling with you know uh, it could be recipe ideas could be exercise ideas for certain muscle groups ask us those questions guys we want to help you at the end of the day um so yeah i'm gonna get myself out to the park put myself through some horrific bodily circuit um and that's it for today that's his latest video as always like i say like and subscribe leave us some comments and let us know what videos you want to see from me and mel in the future thanks again for watching see you later